HITP Music. I'm here with my dude, Bakari JB. We're at Master Pharaoh. It's been a little while, but we're back. The man right here. Um, yeah, I just seen you a couple days ago at Heroes Hip Hop Conference. Yes. Um, for those that weren't there, you know, Hero um, put together a hip hop conference at the bridge and just pretty much, you know, um, you came out, Avenue, Mr. Fritz, uh, Rex, Dart Adam, a lot of people that are involved in the music scene just came out and kind of gave their thoughts on um, the Boston, the Massachusetts hip hop scene. Kind of what did you take home from that? Um, I, I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was dope to get the different perspectives of artists on a few different levels. I saw, like, again, Rex was in there, like, and I feel like Rex has accomplished, you know what I mean, some things that I would definitely like to accomplish. Um, and some other like up and coming cats. Uh, so it was just dope to hear, you know what I mean? Some people had like business standpoints where it was like, my man Cheese Bank was <laughs> just like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, yo, let's get this money. And like everything you're doing needs to be getting paid. You know what I'm saying? And like, again, it's a, it's a perspective. It's his perspective. And so it's, for me, I, I, I engulf all these different perspectives of these artists because we're all trying to do the same thing, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I think it was it was cool. Yeah, same thing. Um, it definitely opened up my eyes too, just you know looking on the outside in, but also hearing like the different artists and stuff. Um, and, and thanks to Cheese, I'm gonna start I'm gonna start right. charging right. for interviews. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but kind of like your success, like what I've watched from you know watching you move and since I've met you, um, you you're always at shows, you're always at events, you're always showing face. Um, and and I feel like that's something important. At least you know, being you know, looking you know, looking in. Um, what, is that something you do on purpose, or you just happen to always be out? Honestly, I'm gonna give y'all up. I'm gonna charge y'all for this later. <laughs> She's got her. Own, <laughs> everyone trying to make right, money. exactly. Shout out to Bankroll. Yo, um, I, I made it. I made it a goal of mine um, to be immersed in the scene. You know what I'm saying? Like I. I, a couple of years ago, started taking myself more seriously as an artist, and I'm like, okay, what things do I need to do? Um, what things would I like to be done? And this is gonna piggyback right along to what people were saying at the bridge at the conference. Um, you know, everybody wants something, but not necessarily willing to, to give those things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want you to post my music on your blog, but I never, come out to an I, event. I don't come to your events, I don't check out your blog, I don't know nothing about you, I don't know nothing about what you do or your artists. Like, so, do, have I earned, you know what I'm saying? Like, have I actually earned it? Whereas like, you know, and for me, I wanted to, you know, I want to meet, I want to network, I want to get to know people who are doing their thing in the city. So it, it was, it behooves me to actually be where it's going down. So uh, that was, major goal of mine and I think um, honestly it's opened up doors for me. When I the day that the day that I met you, y'all were holding a site in here. There was about there was a list of I don't know how many it was, maybe like twenty five rappers. Yeah, it was like, a lot. We had a lot of people in there. On the site yeah. and um I wasn't one of them. So I mean it was cool. I was like, yo, all right, this is major. I'm like, you know, at least fifteen guys on this list I know who they are or they know who I am. I'm like, I'm gonna come down here just to show some love regardless and uh um, like for actually yeah, he was felt, the he one, yeah, he was the one I, mean, I didn't meet you until then. Like, yeah, exactly. He was like, yo, he's like, yo, let him, let him go, let him go. And so like, you know, you had a slot, and you know what I'm saying? I did something, and that's I think probably the first time you heard me. Yep. If I'm mm -hmm. correct, I'm sure a lot of connections came from that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was just, it was just cool to be in a room. Like, I knew a bunch of these other artists because I. I go out to people's shows, I show them love, I support them as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, a lot of us are on the same level, on the same plateau. So, you know, I just try to show the love because obviously, we want the love back. So. Um, that brings us to this. Free and Desire. Um, yo, know, what was the whole process? Because the process like of making this, because we actually selected this as one of the top 20 projects out of Boston. Um, you know, there's very few arguments against that. Um, but you know, you guys, those arguments. No, no, I'm saying. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure there's some bit of rap out there. I know you heard this. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. You know, catch them, buy one of these, or download it online. Yeah. Um, but just pretty much, what was the process of, of making this, and why did you choose this title? Okay. <laughs> Yo, the title is it's a simple but funny argument story, right? So my little bro, my little bro has a lot to do with this project. Even though it's not mentioned a lot on the project per se, 
But um, shout out to Clavis Barrett. Clavis B Art on all social all right. medium if y'all want to get your artwork done because he did the album cover. He also did my business cards. Um, and he's just a fantastic artist. He got a full scholarship to go to Columbus School of Art and Design. So he's in Ohio. This man's the best. Fear and desire. <laughs> he, I was on the phone with him, and he had like a fortune cookie, <laughs> and legit, that's what it said. It was oh, like, man. it was like fear and desire. It was like two sides of the same coin, and like me and him laughed about it. <laughs> but then I was like, yo, honestly, I was like, yo, that encompasses just so much of like my life, my love, my passion, and I'm sure so many others, so many people are afraid of what it is that they even want. You know what I'm saying? What they desire the most, you know what I mean? Or it can be viewed as, it's fear and desire, but it's almost like fear or desire. If they're two sides of the same coin, like, yo, which one overweighs, outweighs the other, you know what I mean? So, um, choosing, a choosing a title for a project can oftentimes be tough. Um, that, when that came to me, it, it kind of made it easier to create the songs you know what I'm saying like I had I'm I'm conceptual like with music I'm conceptual with lyrics um you know I like things to tie into um the overall concept so you know I felt as though that that made it easier for me to uh it was an umbrella it was a platform like everything on here is either based on it being a desire of mine or a fear or a combination of both you know what I mean so um yeah, this was a, like almost a year. Like we worked on this, me and my engineers, and the features on here and, and everything like that. So this has been, uh, you know, it's been a trying process. This is my first album. Like I never made an album before. I had a, I had an EP, which was just a collection of a few songs. I just put it out there. But this was like, you know, thought goes into literally everything that you do with this because you want it to be that that lasting. You know what I mean? Impression of you. What do you have going up, going on in the, in the future, next couple months, next year? So within the, so since Fear and Desire, I have been, you know, promoting it and selling it, and um, or accepting donations, if you will, <laughs> for the project for the hard copy. <laughs> um, but um, I've been networking, and you know, Fear and Desire and the Fear and Desire movement itself has help me meet so many awesome people who do blogs, who rap, who sing, who dance, who do whatever. And that's, you know, got me on the bill for different shows and so on and so forth. But I've also been able to be blessed enough to do a lot of features. And um, that's kind of been the thing, like recently, like just networking with, you know, other artists. And so y'all can probably look out for Bakari JB because the name will probably be linked to a few different people. Um, I'm working on a mixtape. Um, I haven't selected the title yet. My brother hasn't cracked open that fortune cookie. <laughs> um, and also, also an album. So the mixtape, hopefully, you know, give me like three months or something like that. Like, it might seem like a long time for a mixtape, but I'm trying to have some some city features on there. You know what I mean? It's going to be solid. So, uh, want to do a quality mixtape and then um, really follow up with that with an album. I don't really have a date on that next album yet, but. This is the joint right now, so I gotta, I gotta push this. I don't wanna overshadow this, so you know the mixtape would just be to obviously maintain my relevancy with new music, but the, the next album I want to be twice as good as this, so that's gonna take it. Dope, dope, sounds good, man. So we'll definitely be looking out for that, but Thank appreciate you, your time. Thank you, HITP. Follow him. Uh, follow me up, Bakari JB Music. That's B A K A R I J B. Music on Twitter. If you like the Facebook page, that's Bakari JB Music, B A K A R I J B Music. And you can find me at www.bakarijb.com. Very good. Peace, man. This is Himo HITP Music, Master Parallel.